Yo, what is up you guys? Zumi Fiasco here and I have early access to the Season 4 Week 3 Challenges and I'm going to show you how to complete them all in just 5 minutes. Let's start that timer. Alright everyone, here we go. Challenge number 1 is watch a match replay. Now you only need to view one replay, that is it. Nothing more, nothing less. Once you're in the Fortnite Battle Royale lobby, head on over to Career, then go to your replays and you'll see a bunch of files listed there. Just select the first one and load it up. Once you get loaded in, that should count as a view, and that's all you really have to do. From here, you can back out, or you can give it a shot and maybe discover a hidden talent. Miss around with it a little bit, try to edit something. It's really fun if you guys haven't tried it yet, but with that said, it is optional and you don't have to do that. All you have to do is watch it, and that's it. Challenge complete. Challenge number two is deal damage with pistols to opponents. You need 500 damage total. Go ahead and grab a pistol in that pre-game lobby, shoot some people in the face, get that target practice down. Then once you get into your first game, scout out some rooftops. This is a very common place for pistols to spawn. Also, any house, any building, pistols are very common floor loot. Then you just want to find your first enemy, sink some bullets into them, and get that damage output to get this challenge done as quick as possible, and it'll be over before you know it. Moving on, we have challenge number three, search chest in Lonely Lodge. You need 7 total this time around, just like any other chest challenge, and this is the most efficient route that I could actually find for you guys in getting this done as quick as possible, hopefully 2-3 to three games tops, no more than that. I actually found 7 chests in this one single run, but I was lucky enough to not encounter anyone, so check this out guys, this route is great, it will help you get it done quick, I'll let it play out. Challenge number four is search rubber duckies, and you need to search 10 total. That's right, I actually said rubber duckies. I don't know what to expect from this one. I will probably make a video the day the challenges come out explaining where these are. I think they might be spawning in bathtubs and named locations. That would be my best guess. Either that or a body of water, like Loot Lake or something like that, which I could really see happening because as you all know, the water in Loot Lake really slows players down and you have to keep jumping to be able to move efficiently and quickly. And I think that would be complete madness if there was just rubber duckies all over Loot Lake and people were just landing here going nuts, searching these ducks, getting loot, shooting at each other. It would be complete madness, but super funny to watch. And anyway, guys, whatever it may be, I'm sure we'll figure it out. Challenge number 5 and this week's treasure is follow the treasure map found in Salty Springs. I have the map for you guys, but real quick I want to point out that the main location of this is the racetrack on the east side of the map. As you can see here, the X marks the spot next to the Weeping Willow tree. It's not exactly in front of the tree, it's actually still kind of on the track in front of this little tire stack right here. So this is where I'm thinking it's going to spawn. Now remember with treasure challenges, you have to pick up the battle star and you have to complete the game. Whether you die, jump off the edge, or you win the game. No matter what you do, make sure you complete it. Don't back out because this won't count if you do. And hey, real quick, if this guide and walkthrough is really helping you out, please consider leaving a like rating down below. And also, please subscribe because there's going to be a lot of cool future content coming soon and you don't want to miss out on it. Challenge number 6 this week is a tough one. Sniper rifle eliminations and you need 2 total. Now luckily hunting rifle eliminations actually contribute towards completing this challenge because they are in the same weapon category as sniper rifles. For whatever reason, I could not find a bolt action sniper rifle or a semi-auto sniper rifle to save my life. Now if you guys do find a sniper rifle, don't get discouraged right away if you're missing your shots. Sniping is hard in this game and people underestimate it all the time. Now what I'm going to do is actually leave a link in the description down below to help you improve your sniping game and give you an overall better understanding of how sniping actually works. This is a video made by that Denver guy, it is super helpful, it will help you complete this challenge a lot easier. And here we are at the end, challenge number 7, eliminate opponents in tilted towers, you need 3 total eliminations here. And guys, we all know the nature of the beast when it comes to landing at tilted, there's always so many people here, and even after the comet debris hit tilted, there's still plenty of loot, and there's still plenty of chance for a lot of action. So the only advice I really have to give here is just land in, get whatever guns you can, and you're probably going to get eliminated a couple times, but honestly there's going to be so many people that it will be hard to not get 3 eliminations. So just take your time, do your thing, get your guns, hit your shots, and knock them dead, guys. I promise you'll get this done quicker than you think, and once you do, you can just kiss 
tilted goodbye and not ever have to land here until there's another challenge that brings you back to this overcrowded, insane place. I know the frustration, but I promise you guys will get this challenge done. All right, everyone, that is five minutes. I hope this video really helps you in getting on that grind towards those awesome new dance moves and emotes, along with those great looking skins, grinding those battle pass tiers to get the best skin of all, the Omega. I will see you all in the next one, later.